Hi everyone and welcome back to DIY Agri, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So if you think that videos that will help you to improve on your poultry farming business, videos that will help you maximize profit, videos that will help you uh, prevent losses and death mortality of your chickens, if you think that videos like that interest you then you want to click that red subscribe button right now so you don't miss my videos i have a lot of videos already waiting for you in my playlist that you can check and also i i post videos every now and then like today's video is just like an intervention video i know what i'm going to be sharing today is going to be beneficial to a lot of you guys and i must just do it yes a client of mine called me from kano and told me some things and i think you must know about it um but then before i go into that uh some days ago about two three weeks ago i did a giveaway and um today i'm going to be announcing the winner of the giveaway somebody is getting my thermo hygrometer yes yeah two persons actually two winners of the giveaway so that's by the way uh so so a client like i said earlier a client called me from Kano and just say, Oh, Mr. Poemi of DIY Agri, um, is that you? And I said, Yes, okay. So he said he was planning to vaccinate his beds um, for Newcastle. He, was, he wanted to give them the first Lasota. And then he, the guy that was supposed to lock the water to make the beds go thirsty and then they, they start the vaccination process. The guy didn't lock the water. So now he was asking me if he should go ahead and lock it and then do it so i asked him well, how about the temperature because here where i am talking from i'm talking from Hogan state uh the weather is cold and it was about to rain then it has even rained already so i told him it's about to rain if it was here i would have just continued with the process of giving them some, some feed and allow them to test after a, about one hour just like i did in my vaccination video the one i did last um on lrj farm so i told him but then in Kano, i suspect that there will be heat and he confirmed that there was heat already so i told him to just push it to tomorrow then the most important part i asked the question i was like so how are you going to preserve the vaccine that you have so he said oh he had the vaccine since about two weeks ago and he bought it and he kept it but guess where in the freezer so i want to ask you a question if you have confronted with this with the same situation or probably you wanted to just vaccinate your beds and you couldn't do it maybe you just got your own vaccine and you couldn't do it and you had to push it to the next day how would you preserve your vaccine yes let's say you have the vaccine how would you preserve it would you keep it in the fridge or in the freezer so what would you do yeah type your response in the comment section just right now before i talk what would you do where would you keep it would you just keep it in the highest you know they will put it in a highest pack for you will you keep it there to the next day or will you put it in the freezer or will you put it in the fridge okay let me tell you what you should do actually because a lot of us i mean i'm sure 80 percent of farmers get this wrong and don't forget poultry is a science and if it's a science, that means there are principles. If you don't do it, if you don't get it right, then you are doing it wrong. There's no two ways about it. Max, are you getting me? There's no two ways about it. You're either getting it right or you're getting it wrong. So how would you preserve your vaccine? A lot of us complain about vaccine failure every now and then. We say, oh, my vaccine failed and all that. But then it could be our own fault. The reason why the vaccine failed could be your fault so how would you preserve it if you are here to type in the comment section please type it right now how do you preserve yours or how would you preserve yours a lot of us get vaccines a day before we even vaccinate so that you can do it early in the morning before the shops open the vet shops and all that before they open you want to be able to do it how do you preserve those vaccines just tell me tell me right now max come on leave that wire leave that wire come on sit good boy okay so how would you how would you do it how okay maybe we should just drop the issue of freezer or fridge for a little while most of the vaccines that we use in poultry they need to be stored between two to eight degrees celsius that is plus two to plus eight degrees c between that range 
it can be around two and can be cl very close to eight but it should not be lower than two it should not be uh, higher than eight so whether you find that in the fridge or in the freezer is another question that you should answer maybe as a scientist now okay so in the freezer i actually did a test today using this same thermo hygrometer using my thermometer i did it i ran a test quickly this morning after that call i decided to go into my freezer to show you guys it's not something i don't know before but i just decided to show you guys so i went into my freezer and i kept the thermometer here and you know what let me just show you what i saw let me just show you everything Let's see for yourself okay okay guys so let's see what we have inside the freezer which is the upper compartment here so at first when i came before picking up my phone to record i saw negative two but then after opening the door and closing it back you know the temperature rose a little so now we have negative 0 0.9 as i open again you know the outer temperature is all warmer so it's beginning to rise inside the freezer negative 0 0.8 negative 0 0.7 now negative 0 0.6 so that's what we have inside the freezer sorry i couldn't remove the meat so i just had to use that position now i changed it to the door and kept it for another 30 minutes so upon checking now we have 2.9 which is actually good for vaccine storage 2.9 is don't forget the range is between 2 to 8 degrees c now we have 2.9 the temperature will keep rising as i open the door you see we have uh, 3.0 now so i'm just going to close that and then the third experiment i kept it in the fridge that's the lower compartment i kept it there for another 45 minutes or thereabout and we just to have a stable temperature i kept coming to check if it's stable so what we have it stable at 5.3 now as i open it's rising 5.4 so don't forget this is what we need welcome back so my recommendations which are the important tips of course if you are storing your vaccine and they are not the oil based type most of the oil based um, vaccines will require that you even store them below two they can they can survive below two but for the regular ones that we use the recommendation is that if you are using whether fridge or freezer ensure that you know what temperature is available inside the fridge some freezers will go as that as low as zero point um as negative four negative eight and um some fridge uh, they don't they don't get cold enough they are not even suitable at all for the storage of vaccine good enough my fridge and freezer they perform excellently where you can see the door is actually suitable and also the refrigerator the door of the freezer is suitable and the ref come on shut up and the refrigerator itself is suitable but you need to know what temperature is avail available in each section of the freezer or in the fridge before you even start to store your vaccines there you need to know it must be something you have tested don't just do it because mr hay did it refrigerator is different from refrigerator what you get from this brand is different from what you get from this brand and even in your house depending on the voltage what you get in your house is different from what you get in my house depending on the voltage so all these things are things that you need to consider because we want to ensure that we have our we have our biosecurity in place we want to ensure that the vaccines we are giving our beds have not been uh, compromised we want to ensure that our beds are healthy they are safe we don't want outbreaks of diseases on our farm and i don't want outbreak of diseases on your farm so knowing this tip will definitely help you i'm very sure it will help you to become a better farmer so if you have gotten value from this video i would like you to hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you want to join the community where i'll keep sharing tips for you or uh, as well as you have access to my existing videos and um, if you don't want to miss any of my videos at all you you want to say oh i'm a diet fan i love you i want to stick to you then hit this uh, notification bell so you don't miss any of the new videos that i post thank you very much for watching this far together we'll succeed in poultry farming i remain your humble coach DIY Agric Consult. Thank you.
bye bye okay so here we are we have um nine responses from the last giveaway we have arrow johnson top where melody apelli that's my wife Obi Jozo Chinwe and like that we have nine of them and um, I'm just quickly going to check who's the winner of this giveaway um, I'm going to be using this free service here random.org so we have one to nine contestants and we are going to generate the number of the first winner which is number eight number eight so congratulations to Belo Adebayo Below at the bio has just won one micrometer. So below at the bio, let's see the details of this fellow. Okay, number eight. Okay, below at the bio. Okay, Obu State Sagam. Okay, so we are going to send um one micrometer to below at Debayo. So let's quickly look at um, the look for the second winner. Let's go again. Let's generate another winner, and that is number two. Number two. Number two. So who is number two? Number two. wow number two happens to be my wife <laughs> oh god this is funny but no it is what it is you know so uh she's in the room right now and i'm sure she's going to be surprised so we are sending one thermohygrometer to Belo right away hopefully before the end of this week or latest by monday we should get to Belo. So that's that for our giveaway. Thank you very much.